Right, we're well, just had a little stop here on the edge of the hill fort on one of the ramparts leading up to the main gate. There's a that apparently that's something to do with the Romans over there. You can look it all up online if you want to know more about this hill fort, by the way. I I've looked it up and then forgotten. People like doing little carns and little dens over there, that's always going on. And down there we've got our big herd of black cows. I've got to assess how I'm going to pass them yet. Um, but we're climbing up the hill fort, Dalbury Hill Fort. I've just joined a group, something to do with hill forts. And they asked me what my favourite one was, so well... This is the one I, I like, I think. I like uh, Wilbury, but this to me is more obviously hill fort, you see. Is it? Yeah, I think we're gonna have to skirt low to get past them. And we don't know if they're friendly. <sighs> anyway, if you go on the end there, you can look down to the hill fort. There's a church over there. There's Robero, which we'll be going into one way or another. Haven't decided yet which way. We just climb up on the top here. Little cheap dens there. Sometimes made to for people. I, I don't know. I don't think people are supposed to do it, but I hope there nearly always is one of them here when I come up here. Now when I come up from that way, I quite often go back down this side. It's just something I've done for such a long time. Occasionally I'll come that way. Now it's nippier than we thought, but I mean like I said, I have brought a hat and gloves and a scarf and I have got a windproof. But if we get up here, we can see Sanford Hill over there, Crook's Peak in the mist, further hills over that way. I think tomorrow is supposed to be the warmer day, but I, this, in many ways this is good temperature for me. The worst part is if we've got to wait for the bus and get cold, it's always the risk. Down there, you've got uh, different villages and, and places like Winscombe and uh, places like that. away from the cows. I just got to take some photos. I'm turning Right, we're leaving the bosom, what I call the bosom of Dalbury Hill Fort now. And through there, I just take some pictures. You can see right through there, Sandford Hill encampment where the adventurers camp and go out doing map and compass and all sorts. So this is the bosom of the hill fort. We've got Black, a big herd of black cows ahead of us. So what I want, what I want to do is, if I can, avoid them, and hopefully they won't see me either. This is all beautiful hill for. I've had it all to myself this morning. Now there is a way down there which you can go around, I believe. Um. But what all I want to try and do is um, not catch their eye and walk sort of through that way and hopefully they don't see me. I don't know if they're... I can't imagine them having them out there if they were dangerous. But I've got to get past that bush there. They're mainly down that side. A big herd of black cows. But there won't be much of an escape route for me if they do decide to get interested in me. Because look, I went anywhere through. Uh, 
that they're sort of all hung here quite a lot. I could say about 50 of them. It just depends if they get curious, you see. I am quite scared. I can feel my heartbeat rushing, but I'm going to be quiet now so as not to draw their attention to me. They're dangerous if they've got calves, you see. Try not to make eye contact. Oh, there's a gate ahead. Just stop for a minute and look back. Yeah, it's just got up that one. He just stood up as I passed. Anyway, it's exhilarating being in the sticks. Even though, I mean, they might say, Oh, these cows are right, but you hear about people who've passed through a herd of cows for years and then suddenly the cows turn on. Right, over and over a minute, let me take a picture of it. Right, there's some lovely scenes. I've just taken some lovely pictures here as the, the oak trees are emerging with their lime green leaves. The cows are hidden up in the shade up the top there. I managed to get past without too much problem. Not anybody out. I haven't met anyone apart from the very beginning of the walk. But they weren't coming this way. Now in a minute, while I, I have a decision, I can either go down. When I get through this bit, there's a fork. And you can go either left or right. One part takes you to a butterfly area, if you want to do that. Um... Nice big wood there, and there's a path the other side of this little copse where you can hug the south side of the hill fort. I'm on the main backbone of the hill fort at the moment, going this way. It's always, um, when, when it's very hot, it's always a relief to walk through here and get some shade for a little while. I've got my summer hat in my bag. Look at those lovely trees. I've got two hats. I've got a, a woolly one and I've got a summer one, which now I see them as part of the first aid kit. I see my waterproof trousers as a pot, even though have I taken them out today? I'm not sure. I think I put them in because if the weather did suddenly change, you put those waterproof trousers on, they act as windshields and they will keep you really warm. So. But I did. I decided I'm not on two t-shirts today. 
I decided to take one off and I've got a thick, thickish one on but I've got my summer jumper on now um, the winter jumpers will soon be all washed that includes bear and my big navy blue one uh, they might still have to be used yet um, I've washed out ready to put away my Eskimo pajamas and I'm going to get another pair of them I'm going to invest in more insulating clothing including thermals and waterproof more waterproof clothing from now on because with climate change what's happening is with climate change we are going to get damper and wetter weather right I've decided they usually go that way and come up that way I'm going to go this way today I'm going to go this way So we're leaving the wood, leaving the cops I should say. Uh, I always feel a bit sad when I'm leaving the Warren, leaving the hill fort I mean. It's um, said hi to me, told me not to worry too much about all the family issues that I've got. Um, yeah, which I won't, I don't talk about. I don't share certain stuff um, and if I do I normally destroy it because I think oh people don't want to know all that lots of people have family issues you know what I mean so, I might record it and then play it back to myself just to reflect and then let it get swallowed up it's always in your head so yeah, I still think there are some things people don't have to know everything about you or about your life. You know, some things you don't have to give people everything. Oh, look at that lovely bunch of flowers there, look. Aren't they pretty? Oh, look at them. They're gorgeous. Take a picture. Of course, just as I was reflecting, then somebody walked by. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? Man on his own. Yeah, there's like a bond in a strange way between solo walkers as opposed to the herds that go out clickety clicking. Yeah, and we will say hi, maybe chat for a bit, but we're solo walkers. And what that means, we walk, we, we walk solo. <sighs> He's got shorts on. Some people will and they get really, really brown legs. I don't think I put my shorts on till June last year, during the heat wave. And I think they were only on for June, July and August, and that was it. The weather changed. In fact, I was feeling quite warm when my jumper on, to tell the truth. So I'm glad I didn't bring a big coat. I've, like I said, the um, hat and scarf really are like first aid. If you, suddenly if you fall over, hurt yourself, or like that, or the weather changes, you need to keep, have some sort of backup. Obviously in the summer it won't be as cold as the winter, but you can still get cold. I think as I've got older, in many ways I've become more aware of being hot or cold in a strange sort of way. I mean, I can remember sometimes I used to go running, 80, 
10, 18 miles and I didn't even take a drink with me. <laughs> Unheard of. And then later I learned as I did more running that you have to take fluids. And now what I'm doing is um, before bed I'm drinking, even though I might have had cocoa, I'm drinking a pint of water and then a pint when I get up just to keep topped up because the last time I had blood tests they said you were a bit di dehydrated even though I drink plenty of tea I need water is very very good that's why I always carry lots of fluids see there's a way there or there I don't know which is which to go actually